Hello, orc fighting tubers, and welcome back to Let's Get Magical with me, Blue Anculo. Um, <laughs> so today, uh, I uh, we're gonna make an attempt to get to uh, a town that we're probably it's like probably the last town you're supposed to go to. You know, we did Sorpagol, Sea Haven, which didn't have a lot of the good spells. Uh, I think we're supposed to be heading into Carthal now, according to our quest, which is still very difficult. But um, I think the Craig is the last one you go to normally, but. It's actually not that far away. I think it's easier. I could be wrong, but I think it's easier for us to get to the Craig than it is to get to Carthol. And even if we went to Carthol, there are master trainers that are only in the Craig, and we would have to wait even longer. Although we could get some spells. In, if you go Carthol first, I think you could get some fire magic and stuff. But um, the Craig, I think, is going to get us our water and, and earth and all that going. So That's that's the plan. Last episode, we, uh, we were working on these groups of orcs, and they're... Not easy, to say the least, but we can do it, so we will do it. Um, we're going to change our uh, hotbar here a little bit. We definitely want sleep and purge. Oh, I've already got sleep. Sleep, purge, and the other one I want down there is mana surge. Okay. Good enough. But first off, we got to put, put big guy to sleep. Nighty night. And, um... Oh, I could put air ward up, yeah. So, you know, regen, we have to we have to basically purge that. And the air attack is actually not super dangerous. Lightning bolt. So we just sort of fight through it. I mean, there you go, it did 74 damage on a crit, but aren't you glad I put air resistance on? It presented almost nothing. Anyway, the mana surge will do most of the work here and we'll be okay. Well, between Regeneration and Mana Surge, we'll be okay. I would see Regen as basically him just wasting some of our mana, dispelling it. It kind of neutrals, like, it's a, it's a net neutral damage. It just wastes me, it has me waste a bit of my time and mana. If he tries anything, he dies. And he dies. Okay, now we start going through the big bruisers. We're not ready. Alright, Jaguar Warrior. So, the Maulers seem to be weak enough that we can just melee them, but the Jaguar Warrior I think he gets more attacks or something. We have to be a bit cautious with this guy. So, if possible reduce his number of attacks and then we need to burn him down. And we gotta keep an eye on our armor and stuff. Halfway dead. Good hit. You know, re-up my armor. Which is very good, because, you know, we would have probably died there. Should have armored again, probably. Don't die. The critical rate. The critical rate. This is so dumb, because this fight, like, this is not an easy fight. But we already know we can win it. It's just a matter of not getting hit by criticals and instantly dying. Which I... Yeah. I am pushing my luck by trying to rush the Craig, but I know it's worth it, so... We're gonna just fight through. It might take a little while, but we're gonna do it. This is not the hardest fight we've done in this game. Although, because we're on the world map, reloading takes forever, which is unfortunate. Oh, and, of course, I keep... ...do this. Um... I mean, we could put the Dream Walker to sleep. Save him for last. Let's try it a little differently this time, just to... Uh... 
just to mix it up. The Maulers are definitely the weakest of the group. I think, uh... Rides has more points in Earth, so... Alright, just relax. Relaxing battle against orcs. There we go. We'll just let the next one come in like last time, except not die this time. Easy peasy. I don't think uh, the destiny spell really makes much difference, to be honest. But I will cast it. Alright, Jaguar Warrior, the most dangerous, clearly, in the group. I think even if I put him to sleep, I can't... It would be really nice if I could move backwards a square, but... I don't think I can do anything like that. Um, yeah, we just have to kill him. There's not much else to do other than kill him. And... Unfortunately... I think there's always going to be a small chance that he can um, get a good lucky crit and kill us. Yeah, yeah, I mean... I do also need to be careful with my mana, because, you know, once, once we run out of mana, we're, we're in trouble too, so... Trying to balance a few different things at the same time, but... I think we got this guy. That was pretty close. Alright, good. We're fine, we're fine. I'll tell you what, you can even have a potion. Don't forget you have potions, guys. Potions are okay. Healing potions. Okay, and then we'll just uh, somewhat auto-battle the Mauler. I think, as long as I don't do anything stupid here, we should be on the road to victory now. The regeneration spell is probably all we need. Whatever, whatever stone skin does, it's not enough to make a big difference. Okay. And now we're on to the last guy. Um, woke him up, I guess. And we just smack him because... Oh, no, no. We can put uh, Air Ward again. Windshield. No, not Windshield. Air Ward. Oh, we could poison him. He's the last guy. The Purge. So the, maybe one of the advantages, you could save the Jaguar Warrior for last, if you could, and then poison him. That might be a, need, a good strategy. Just not give him any chance to critical kill us. I ran out of mana. Yep. We're gonna need to be able to do uh, dispels. Can't can't let him keep healing up. I'll just make this battle go on for too long. And mana surge is our main damage. So close. Alright, he's dead. And stay down. Okay. All good. I'm just gonna do my rest here. We know we have to get through one more fight.
And unfortunately, I don't think there's a way to bypass this one. So, as soon as we step in this tile, you know, the boomerang bros are going to try to get us. Now, I'm not 100% sure if we can win this fight. If we cannot win this fight, then very sad panda for me. But uh, we're definitely going to give it the best chance we can. So, buff. Buff. Uh, it's also a ranged attack, which we can technically win shields. And... Again, not like I expected to make much difference, but we can certainly put uh, Evaden on. I did all that at the wrong step. Oops. <laughs> well, let's find the step and then reload. Where is it that we get attacked? This one? That's the one. Sorry. I'm just reloading because I don't want to rat. I mean, whatever it is. It doesn't really matter. I guess I could have rested. But I want to start the fight with full mana one way or the other. So. You know, it would be really cool if there was an invisibility spell that would let you walk by or reduce, like, the detection range on enemies by one square or two squares. Um, that would let you bypass a lot of these really difficult encounters. That would help uh, That would help make this game feel like an open world game more than it isn't. Uh, because as it is, there's a lot of areas that are just blocked by, um, well, what you see unrunnable battles because apparently you know is it the next step no apparently a lot of these fights you know it seems like if we just made a dash for the town we could get there but you know you can't you can't get into town even though you're even though you're there right it's just, I feel stronger. Yeah, it's fine it's fine don't don't complain blue you're you're okay All right, let's do this. They're flanking us. Take cover. We definitely need them to come to us. Also, we were effectively surrounded. Um Well, not not effectively. We were we were ambushed, so they got a little bit of bonus on us. Uh I'm thinking I'd actually prefer one of the maulers to stand adjacent. Maybe we can tie, like, one of them down. And then... Have a mauler and a goblin every turn until we kill all the goblins or something like that. I'll throw a little bit of damage on them first. Okay, the goblins move first anyway. Um, this is my first try on this fight. So... I will try the AoE strats on this one. It might not be a good idea, but I will give it one try. They resist a lot. They individually don't do much damage, but they get a lot of attacks. Um, I think Sleep Strat is still a superior. Put put two of them to sleep and then one at a time. At least until we get stronger AOEs. But I'll, I'll give this one a try. We'll, we'll, we'll fight this one out. Uh, the thing is, yeah, we're going to burn through... Yeah, okay, no, no, no. That one's not going to work. I don't have enough mana. Like, they, they resist our spells way too often. Um, we're not going to do enough damage. We're going to run out of mana, use a couple potions, and still run out of mana, I think. So. Lesson learned. Let's try a slightly different strat. I really wish the, the world didn't take quite so long to load. But uh, even the SSD can't save you here.
All right, let's get started. Goblin on the left. Go to sleep. We'll start by killing Goblin on the right. Goblin in the middle. Go to sleep. And... We're going to see how much damage he does just on his own. I... Actually, these guys do less damage per hit. So maybe we can get away with Stone Skin actually making a big difference. Because they do a lot of small damage, right? A lot of small hits. So you get more value from your armor. Sort of. Still probably better just to rely on regen, I think. It, I think he actually died to uh, the reflected damage, didn't he? That's cool. Uh, next question. I don't think a mauler can fit here. The answer is no. So we have to continue fighting one more round of goblins. Clearly goblins aren't too bad though. And these are not maulers. Eagle, eagle warriors, right? Maulers have a maul. <laughs> I know. It's hard to remember. Alright. Now, these guys coming in are definitely more deadly. Um... So last time we fought them, we, our best success was really spamming magic. Because we have to kill them fairly quick. Reducing their attacks is still probably worth it. But yeah, they hit pretty hard. Dang it. Yeah, they're brutal. Mm, maybe I should heal. I'm trying to rely on the Celestial Armor, but... There is, like... Oh, that's right. They have Enrage. So they get twice as many attacks when they're almost dead. Yeah. Yeah, this is where it gets spicy. This is probably where we typically have problems with them dying. You know what? This is when... Okay. We might be able to kill them. But this is when we should use Time Stop. Uh, time Cop. Um, when we know they get too many attacks. I was definitely... I forgot about that. Okay. Okay. Once he's at 50%, we switch over to Time Cop. That, that's the solution. Like, come on, Blue, don't be dumb. Uh, well, that's not what I meant to do. Um, we'll save you for last. Actually, this is better anyway. Once the Goblin's dead, we'll want to recover a little bit of mana. But I think we got this. We're, we're going to the Craig, boys. And gals, don't forget the gals. There you go. Uh, for one last fight, we definitely don't want to muck this up. We're definitely going to... I'm, I'm going to burn... I want... Like, I don't think we're going to need this much mana. But I am not... I'm going to take as few... Oh, there's another one. We're not done. Never mind. I thought this was the last guy, but no. It's a mage. Mages aren't that bad, though. All right, we know how to handle these guys. It's not the first one. I didn't think I was going to need mana surge. But we have a solution. We can time stop them when they berserk or enrage. And we can um, per we can cleanse and stuff on the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. This 
is looking okay. Halfway dead. Yeah, one one mage is mostly just annoying because it burns my mana to um to to deal with his regen, but it's fine. We've got mana to spare right now. That's I'm glad I took the big potions. Ha! He died before he could regen himself. Let's uh wait. There we go. Okay, the last fight. Oh, I should have buffed before. I should have buffed before I attacked him. That would have been smart. Just remember half. I've got a strategy. Maybe this turn we start it. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. I don't even know if he's at half, but. Sure. Resistant enemies. You know, with our high level master skills, we're supposed to ignore a lot of resistances. I see a problem. Even with all that mana, it's still not enough. Okay, it's possible he could have killed someone that turn, just with, uh... Okay, we got him. We didn't even need that mana potion. Save game. <laughs> Alright, 20 minutes in. Boy, almost half the episode just to get here. But we got here. Boys and girls, success. We got ourselves another town episode or two. Oh. Oh, it feels good. So, there's lots of exploring. Uh, I am, I don't remember where all the shops are. We definitely want to find some magic shops and skill trainers. I'd rather not sleep too close to the locals. Uh, so first thing, honestly, the main thing is, I'm not gonna do all the gossip. I might do like a gossip run next episode, just like, uh, what we, what we did in Sea Haven. Today's adventure is finding trainers and spells. So I'm really excited to get some new spells. The game is so stingy with magic. And you never know, we might find some goblins. Yeah, just might find some goblins just hiding in a barrel. Yes. There's a spell that would give us a bit of a warning for that, I suppose. Get out of here, goblin. And stay down. Nobody likes you popping out of barrels. Although I will admit that's a very goblin thing to do. Uh, one of the resistances. Yes. A tiny amount of money, that doesn't even matter. Which we got up here? Ao's house, sounds like a mage. Um, not a mage, it's a shark. All right. I don't care. We'll we'll do I'll do some gossiping later. I, I promise I will talk to everybody at some point, but right now it's just not on my list. Is that something important? Looks like some kind of rune. Lots of those though. Zin, do you know magic? Uh treasure hunter, it's someone we could oh it's some lady we could hire. Uh, I don't remember what that does. We'll talk to people later, like I, like I said. Talking. Boring. Magic. Good. Definitely orcs were here. <laughs> uh, pulsing yellow is uh, air or something? Maybe. Yes. Light, of course. Light is yellow light. Like the sun. pretty big town not a lot of uh shops in it so far but we'll find them gossip the least important thing uh 
Uh, this looks like the the castle or leader outpost or dungeon or something. Healing lodge. Never mind. It's a healing lodge. Uh, okay. Promotion for our shaman. We'll deal with that later. Earth magic master is something we need though. Two people would like it. I've got the money for it. Bam, bam. Good. Um, yeah, we'll come back here and talk to these guys and get the quest going probably next episode, depending on how much time we have today. But Earth Magic Master, yes, please. Not the most important school to master, but I'm pretty sure this is the only that was the only place you could get that. So if you went to Carthal first, you would not have Earth Master at all, still. All the way till you get here normally. Not to sound salty, but it's salty town. This is a pirate headquarters. There's a lot of dead ends. This town may legitimately have the most dead ends of any town. House of Mojo. Give me my mojo. This is the mojo town. Excellent. I don't care about discipline. I don't care about IDs. I will sell some garbage while I'm thinking about it. Just to have an interest say, Could we buy cool stuff? Plus three to earth magic. That's... We're going to buy that. Plus three to fire magic. We're going to buy that. Um, what do they? What do they call them? It's a uh, magic fire magic scholar and earth magic scholar. That's kind of what we're looking for. Unless they have other names, but uh... oh, you could buy a chain lightning scroll. Hmm. Maybe we'll just get chain lightning for real. And spells, okay. So even even without GM fire, this is some of the stuff we've been missing out on. Like fire blast and fire shield. Fire shield's not that great. Fire blast for sure. I'm not going to just buy everything right away because I don't know if my money will make it through all the spells. Uh, there we go. Master fire or earth stuff. Poison cloud and acid splash. Um, acid splash is more of a mixed group spell because it does uh it decent damage but the idea is uh reduce armor and then poison cloud is uh another dot definitely gonna buy that and we've got water expert which i don't know why they don't let you buy water expert spells before now this is really dumb you have to wait so long um Ice Prison is another, um, it's like stasis, except different element. And... Circle of Frost from the party. It's an AoE. It's like Sparks, except water. So we'll get that. And, um... I'll save my money a little bit for those... Uh, we still have skills to master, and then we can come back and buy more magic. I, I, we've, we've got some good... We've got enough gold right now. We're doing okay, but I don't want to... I don't want to run out before we find something really important. Like a water magic master, let's just say. Um, what I will do right away, though, is... Plus three to fire magic. Please. And um, who's going to be my main earth mage? Well, I guess Jarrell already has 17. Uh, I guess rides I really want to get air. So, so Jarrell, for now, will give you uh, even more earth. And then we should equip the gold one on someone. Just because it's more powerful baseline. There you go. Uh, so that is pretty cool, guys. Uh, plus 5 to Earth. That's level 20. And level 30 Fire Magic. So, uh, you know, just keep scaling those up. Let's see if we can find some more trainers. Save it. I still don't have the water stuff that I really want. And uh, Luke gets what he wants to get.
Yeah, there's an awful lot of just random dead ends. Hi, Davy. Don't care. So, just right. You walk up to somebody, just say hi, and then they're like, "I don't have any skill training for you," and you're like, "That's it. Not important." If you can't teach me how to cast magic spells, you you have no value for this party. Negas, negas like water. They really like water. Um. But uh, we need a. We need a normal water teacher before we get a GM teacher. I mean a water master, not a water grandmaster. Uh, we got a tavern. We'll buy some supplies. Check the... We got a tinker. We got somebody... Who's probably a quest or something. Okay. Save. We'll save the chat for chat time. Right now we're explore time and learn magic time. You teach water magic? Probably not. Uh, just gossip. Like I said, we'll talk to all these people later on. Don't worry. Hmm. Yeah. We haven't really unlocked um, the normal fast travel here. So I think there's like... Maybe Act 4 or something will unlock the ship travel back and forth to Craig from from Sorpagal. That's how you know you're not really supposed to be here yet. They haven't actually unlocked the... Uh, we haven't unlocked the fast travel kind of thing. You want to try out some cool spells? I got some cool spells. It's a long-range fireball, basically. I guess it's not that impressive. Um... It's more of an AoE kind of spell. I still haven't found all the really cool spells I want, I guess. Um, look, I have some new spells. I just don't have all of the spells. Turn them to ice. And you can't attack them. So it's like time stasis. It's like time cop. And uh, didn't we pick up... Oh yeah, poison cloud. So this is another dot. It does stack with uh, poison spray. So you can have them poisoned and inside a cloud. Because they'll take damage from that as well. Okay. Yes, I feel strong. Right? So he took... Uh... Poison Cloud for 20, and Poison Status for 20. It's pretty fun. And the Poison Cloud would persist. So if enemies walk into it, they will take... Uh, uh, they will walk in and take damage as well, right? So it's got some good value, I think. Just more tools for us. More tricks for the mages. Uh, there we go, CL. Thank you, CL. We now have Water Master. That's the one we needed. Uh, we'll talk, this is the Craig hack. We'll talk to this guy. We've got a quest for him. I, I again, technically we're doing these quests a little bit early. You could, if you want to keep the game going in the correct order, you could just not do any quests here until you can come here normally or until you're supposed to come here. But, um... I don't care. So, we're going to start those quests, uh, well, once we're done all of our exploring. Uh, I think uh, the only one I'm missing so far is Air Master and Prime Master. And those might not be in this town. I We might have to go somewhere else for them, but... Okay, uh, you can take these two. Probably don't need that. Well, I could put the Paralysis Protection on my Water Mage that can be paralyzed so that they can unparalyze other people. That's the one, liquid membrane. Take that and uh, blizzard, yes. All right, we still have lots of money. I'll probably buy all the rest of the spells in a second, but I want to finish exploring town first. There's still, uh, still some unexplored stuff.
There should be a weapon in armor shop somewhere. We went there. We did not go down. This should all hopefully connect up eventually. Lots of gobble not lots of gossip. Every man's armor. Um what I do want to do is repair. And because we're shopping mode. Is there anything that I would consider buying? Gloves with some spirits? I mean, that's a little bit of mana. It wouldn't be a terrible idea if you could equip them to get these perception equipment. Because then we could equip them to open the walls that need perception, right? So if you see plus might and plus perception, they might be worth holding on to. None of these are super interesting. Okay, sorry. Kind of lame. How many more goblins are we going to find in barrels? <laughs> the real fun of Craig. Okay. Down. That was the entrance. Training center. Probably all melee skills. Spear. Oh, focus expert. Yeah. There's, there's usually two... Expert trainers, um, one master and one grandmaster for each skill. So this is nice. It gives you most of the experts if you missed any, I guess. This is not, this is always like the, this is like the backup expert trainer though. Because you should be able to learn them earlier than this game. This town. Second hand weapons. Um, I don't think we're going to ever want any of these weapons. Unless it was, like, I think, um, we have the spear skill. So if it was a novice spear that gave us, like, strength. Or, you know, if you found something that looked really interesting, it might be worth putting one skill point in just to equip it. If it was, like, you know, expert is seven points. That's a bit more, but, you know, novice level, in theory, I could see learning. Uh, or I could see taking. Um, but it would have to give you some really nice magical bonus. I'm just so glad we managed to get to the staying town. I've been waiting for new spells for so long. And it just seems like the game just you know, refused to give them to us. It's just part of the game's balance, but they really do stretch it out. I think I think they stretch it out too long. Some of the access. Oh. He's just immediately... Uh, so this is one of those lost lambs that we were tasked on a quest to release or kill. He's killed some people. It's savage. He wants to get on a ship and leave. Something's coming our way. Be ready. I don't actually know if we're going to be strong enough to kill him. I, I wasn't expecting a fight, you know. Um, ice magic, huh? Of course. I need to get liquid membrane on. Uh... We need to not be paralyzed, though. Um, well, he is a mage, so... Yeah, Chain Lightning's really strong. I'm not enjoying this fight so far. So, liquid membrane makes a huge difference to the amount of damage we take, even though I don't have protection from air on yet. I think air ward is garbage. Um, 
She's immune to poison. Oh, gee, she's just immune to everything. I just got all these cool spells, and he's immune to most of them. Everything. So he's like, he was lit, didn't lit. I've never seen someone immune to prime. I guess maybe that's considered mind or something. I don't know. Kind of annoying. Not a great fight. We're legitimately just going to have to punch him. Liquid membrane and punching, I think, is where we're at. He's just immune to most, pretty much everything we can do. But uh, liquid membrane is really good, so uh, it's fine. Oh, I forgot. I should have cast it. I mean, with air resistance, his, his spell power isn't so strong that we die immediately. Keeps trying to paralyze. Imagine if I had air mastery. Well, we can kill him. This is fine. It's not an easy fight, but I just I'm annoyed at how much he just resists everything. <laughs> That's just me. It's fine. I'll, I'll get over it. I wish the animation on this was a little bit quicker. No. We're so close. Uh, let's let's not mess it up here. Probably could have just killed him, but thanks. Lost lambs are lost forever. Uh, nice. Got another one of these. And I always want his treasures, so you gotta, you gotta get the treasure. Be good. More earth magic. Well. Okay. And spirit. I think Grotham's gonna need more mana. Well. Yeah. Dra it's Drow's day. Okay, well that was a, that was a pretty tough fight. Kind of a neat surprise, just by the way, you're gonna fight this guy. Yes. Combat music decided it didn't want to break either, so. I'm gonna keep listening to that for a while. Alright, there might not be too much more to visit in this town. Oh, maybe this was the ship that takes you to Sarkago. Well, I don't know. No one's there. Secrets. We're getting two... Two music tracks playing over top of each other. What a well... This is a very well... Well, well programmed game. So, okay. Uh, let me look up... Before we close this up. I think... 
the only thing we're missing is air mastery. I'm just going to have a look at where that is, which would be very nice to have. Air master. No, air master is. It's at the training center. I must not have noticed. See, I, I always remember the Craig being the place to go for magic. Is my guide wrong? Oh, it does. See, expert, expert, expert. I just didn't notice it last time. It's technically master. There you go. Even more magic master. Okay, uh, what else are we missing masteries? Um, Dark Magic Master is nowhere available yet, but we don't care. Uh, we've got air, we've got earth, air, water, fire. Light was back in Sea Haven if we cared. And Primordial, I think, yeah, Primordial is the one missing. Uh, so that one we'll have to go to Carthol to get Primordial. But I'd say this was a good deal. We got everything besides Prime is now mastered um, much earlier than normal. So usually you can get like Light Master, Fire Master, and like that's it. Uh, everything else you have to wait till Carthol, and then you can get Prime Master. So that's a pirate town. How they can choose to live on water beats me. Yeah, beats me too. But um, yeah, all the other elements, like about half of the elements in the game, you have to get to the last town in the game to get them. It's kind of and rude. Now, the game is getting really laggy. It's probably going to crash. I'm going to need to wrap this up. But yeah, there's Chain Lightning. Um, this is really good against large groups. It does more damage the larger the group. And uh, yeah, it's uh, the best AoE spell pretty much in the game. And then there's a Cyclone, which is another damage over time, like uh, Acid Cloud. So you can see how much money we have left over. Um... So I'm going to pick up some more spells. I'll pick up Fire Shield. Pick up Acid Splash. Uh, I really should have given Poison and Acid Splash to Drow because he's got uh, all the Earth magic for now. So it's fine. And yeah, there you go. So now we got a bunch of magic. And um, we got a new shop where every now and then we can get better. Um, I guess I could buy that too. Uh, basically used up all my money, but there's not much else I would buy other than trying to get more, um, orbs with nice enchantments on them, basically. So, we'll just buy that for now. And, uh, yeah, there's lots to talk about in this town, so I think, honestly, next episode we'll just spend the whole time talking, but I do want to get outside into the world and start showing off all my cool spells, because we've got a bunch of new magic the only thing we're missing in my grand repertoire is Prime Master, which is mostly for Implosion, which would give Shows Off a really nice uh, single target damage spell. And then, of course, the Grand Master spells, but those are, of course, very late game after promotions. But, um, yeah, we've got pretty much all the spells I wanted, and um, that's pretty awesome. We are getting close to another level up, and I guess, you know, I should invest. So... I think rides, we just focus on air. I don't have any air increasing equipment yet, but I want to see amazing chain lightnings out of rides, right? That's his job. Um, Grotham is all about them fireballs and stuff. And then Jarrell, well, he's got a lot of earth. Uh, let me see. I had a note for these two, uh, which one I wanted to do first. And I think it's water. Um, Earth, the, the Grandmaster Earth spell, the way I remember it, isn't super amazing. I don't think it's... I can't remember what it does, but I remember it being, like, not imp that impressive. So getting water Grandmaster is better. And um, still not, like... The, the water Grandmaster spell is not the most important. But we've already got... I mean, I could keep boosting that Earth damage up. To get those poison spells even stronger and those heals even bigger. But the other option is I could like take light to master to get resurrection. I could get prime. But I think it's water grandmaster priority. And that will just it, I don't know the exact math. Like there's some there's some mysteries. But although it doesn't say it on this, it says reduces incoming damage by 15%. Um, it also says protects the party this turn, but we know it lasts like 
seven or eight turns, and it redu it, it definitely reduces damage by more than 15%. So, um, this one scales on your stats somehow. I don't know the math, but uh, it is really good. Um, this is like the this is why the all mage party is kind of works into the late game is we can put spells like that up uh, into the end game and then um yeah so i think i'll end the episode here i think what i'll try to do is reorganize my hot bars between episodes because i've got a bunch of new spells that i have to try to figure out when i want to use them um fire blast is good like that's our long range fireball well, I guess it's just our replacement Fireball. Fireball is range 3, 50 to 83 damage. This costs 50% more. Also range... Oh no, maybe it's more like an... Maybe it's more like a Flamethrower. It doesn't say ranged. Like, range of 3. So maybe this is our short range AoE Fire Spell that does more damage than Fire Bolt. So it's very expensive, but it's a nice AoE. Um, and then we also have a, uh, this could do a good amount of damage. Uh, anything that's not resistant to fire, when we, you know, when goblins attack us like six times in a row per turn, I think each attack will reflect 15 damage. That's not too bad. We'll definitely try it out. Um, I mean, Acid Splash isn't super important for us, but this is our single target earth damage. It's probably... Yeah, it's stronger than Entangle, so when I just want to do single target damage, this is something at least. I haven't had a lot of earth damaging spells to go off of. So we've got Poison and Poison Cloud, which have slightly different uses, and then Acid Splash for some damage. We do have Chain Lightning, which is going to be real good on groups. It is long ranged, and if you're not immune to air, this will kill, this will kill a lot of groups really quickly. Because it's... Uh, it's... It's a, an average of, let's say, 50 damage times targets. So if there's three enemies, it's 150 damage to everything. So that's uh, really good. That's that's when you want to use it. And then Cyclone's actually not bad either. It's a lot of damage in the tile in front of you. It says it hunts enemies, so it does move around a little bit, maybe. But effectively, you can stack this with Poison Cloud, and yeah, it just it gives you some more cool options. But uh, Chain Lightning's the big win, and then Cyclone, we'll try to get a bit of use out of it every now and then. Uh, so that's cool. And then a little bit of overlap spells. And then finally, I have been getting some good value out of Purge and Sleep, so that's fun. I haven't invested into Light. Light Master, I know, I've been delaying that a lot. And maybe... Uh, I could go for it next on Grotham. Maybe because I know that I can't learn Grandmaster Focus until I promote. I do Light Master next to get more spells. Which we should we should get more spells now. Seeing as I've got most of the stuff I want. But keep in mind, putting points into here does increase our fire damage. Because we get more um, critical critical damage. Critical chance. Yeah, we could get another 8% critical... Oh, man. 8% more crit rate does sound pretty awesome, I have to say. Um, you know, we're 14%. We can take that up to 22% critical chance. That's like almost 1 in 4 spells do critical. That's that's pretty cool. Uh, was there any other spells I was going to mention after our big shop? Yeah, we can't get uh, Master Prime for a little bit longer. I never really took shows off air very high or is it light. But yeah, once we have Implosion, this will feel better. And I'll probably give him some air magic after that. I'd like him to have Chain Lightning as well for for at some point. But yeah, okay, I think... Where's the uh, tavern? Gotta, gotta end the episode in a nice friendly space. But yeah, this was a... Uh, I can't see where I'm going. Um, this was an exciting episode for me and... Uh, if you're playing along, I do highly recommend that you try to get to Craig as... If you're doing a mage party, a challenge, try to get here as early as you can. Maybe you could get here earlier than I did. That'd be cool. Maybe you have to wait till you get a little bit stronger before you come here. But either way, even if it's a bit of a sequence break, I highly recommend it. So, um, yeah. I feel stronger. 
that's all for today. Thanks for watching, folks. Hope you've enjoyed. Next time, we'll talk to people in Craighammer and hopefully get a chance to show off some of our cool new spells. So, hope you've enjoyed and have a great day. Get hyped for the all-mage party slaughtering fools. When we go to Carthol, we're going to be overpowered as heck with all kinds of magic. We're not maybe totally supposed to have that early. Early in air quotes. <laughs> See you later, guys. Have a great day.